Okay, so you're going to extract the folder into wherever and you'll get this. To open the map in the editor, click on maps and you come down to the map O2, this one, and you want to open it up. Choose the latest version and it would help if I had it connected through this any second Okay, what's going on here? Uh, okay, so we probably want to go window capture and we'll type it as GE and then we want to have this one it's that one but why isn't the fucking why isn't that showing up here we go nope slide that out there I'm alright bro, I'm live streaming right now. Not streaming, making a video. So, you want to... Pretty much how I, edit, how I add stuff to the game is if you come up to window... I need to see that. Go to window and then you go to prefabs and then you just I just downloaded this one but I'll download this one for the hell of it. Pretty much what this does it makes a folder in this folder under prefabs is where those will be and that is where you add the models for the game. Um, so we got this is what I've just downloaded but we don't really care for those right now what we want to do is we want to come back to this and this is the theory mod extracted the ports and you want port and we're gonna import these to try and keep it so how we do that is we go to this icon and then we want to open up the location of that which is under lost uh, no which is under theory and import and import again and I'm pretty sure if I extract it again it's only gonna make another copy of it. Let's just go back to this and see if it's made a copy, another copy in the prefab spot. So maps, prefabs, and no, it's only got still the one. And this is where it's located. This is your texture, this is where you pretty much put anything you want to add into the game. You download a prefab first and then put the prefabs into this one. And that's it. And then from wherever the location is, which it's it right there, this, and it's 
swap. Come back up to Earth. And then say if we wanted it over here. No, let's go all the way down to our main farm. Which is that direction. And say we want to put it right here. So we'll grab the port and then pressing Ctrl and B and click and then assign it to the location. You then just rotate it to your specifications. And, uh, and what I did to do it was I lined it up so it's on the grass, good there. And then pressing Control D, which is duplicate, and it's going to duplicate another one here, just so I've got all these duplications here. I'm just going to duplicate this and bring it out to the water by duplicating about maybe four or five of these uh, jetties ports to bring it out. So it's just might make it a little bit cleaner this time. And there, control D, and then bring it forward, and I bring it forward to about there, and then again. And again. And again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I want to bring it out quite deep because the actual fury um, is quite big in itself and there's a big collision underneath it's an invisible one it's pretty much just got invisible wheels on it and then that makes it the fury so we want to bring it all the way out here it's got a nice thing to go to now what I noticed when I was testing this is that the height of this part here needs to be down so we go we need to bring it right down to about there and then because there's a big gap there what we want to do also is we want to duplicate the same one and then we want to bring it backwards and then we're going to use it like a ramp so we'll go like this towards the ramp and then bring it down so that you have a nice surface. That looks pretty good to me. Nice and low. So that's that done. Okay. Um, pretty much just want to hit save. Uh, this is your console which will bring up any errors and as you can see I do have a warning for contains non-binary index triangle set to that location um, I don't have a clue on what the fuck that means but that error disappeared when I reopened up Giant Z and just to make it look even a little bit better you can then control be that over there and move that one that direction and then up here you have so we'll get rid of the scenograph because we're not messing with any more objects we're going to remove this little patch of grass here and we're going to put asphalt leading up to this so what we do is we want I like square square is always good and then we want uh, foliage. Foliage is the grass. So I believe that this will remove the grass. My scroll button is uh, currently broken, so 
I can't use it to zoom in and out or make this want to go to. This one is how you paint the stuff. This one is to do with the grasses and the crops pretty much. So this is for crops and this one is for the terrain. So you want the terrain and then as I come up with asphalt, dirt, grass. You only need out four textures per square. So keep that in mind. And then uh we want to come to this part over here, the texture layer. Get rid of that because don't need it. Don't need that one. And we want to change that to your desired uh, texture. And then we pretty much just want to like that. It's a bit shady. A bit shady right there. And then once again, we just want to zoom out looks pretty good to me and then we probably want to find the shop where are we I think this is the shop over here so we're gonna get rid of this one and this one and then we're gonna no actually actually hold on hold on undo We just move that downwards and then this one across to there and then we grab this one drag that shit down there of course it's not going to look very pretty but we'll make it look average there I'm kind of okay with that we then want to come back to this Get rid of that. And it is best to keep the center graph really tidy so you can find stuff in the long run. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate that, which is over by the main farm, and then I want to select that one, holding shift, and then clicking all the way up to this one, and then control G, which will put it into a group. So that group name is now going to be um, Port Main Farm. You don't have to put underscores, I just, that's the way I do it. And hit an enter, and then I can get rid of that. Now, this should be the port that I duplicated before, and if I press Control B, I'll put it over here. Now, I need to then put this back to. Uh, Actually, let's delete that and uh, <laughs> ah, fucker. If oh, my God, okay. <laughs> Um, delete, back off, come out of this one and I'll push F, because we can't be fucking with this shit, otherwise we're going to fuck it up, and I'll be a noob, so we want to have that And I'm gonna grab this one and then duplicate that. Bring that all the way out to about there, and then we want to lower it into the water. about there I'm going to 
to take this nice flat one and we're going to duplicate that one then we're going to press Control b and put it there and then we want to find uh, where's the shit going now Bring it up to there. We're going to need three of these here, so I'm going to name this Port Shop because, yeah, it's going to get confusing. So I could probably just delete that one because, yeah. So we go duplicate, bring it out to the second square here. You don't have to do this one too far because it is quite deep there and it's going to work perfectly fine. But anyway, so to there. Come on, move. Okay, so then we're going to drag this down so that this line here is going to be the water line. So I think that's about there. lower you can get it kind of better because on the barge on the on the theory itself there is a lip that folds down so you can put it onto there and then we want to grab this one and duplicate it to make it into that ramp so we just want to put it on a angle and push it down to there Bring it down to match there, and that looks okay to me. And that's the shop one. So that's the shop there, and then there we go across that bridge, and we have our other one here. Now that port that I deleted before, no, it's not the ramp. Okay, I did notice in the game when I was testing it the other day is that these textures, when you duplicate them on top of each other, they can kind of give a little effect of the textures trying to merge together that's one thing you probably need to go in and just adjust it by the minimum number ever so that the textures don't override each other and look horrible anyway so these ones here are now the port at the shop so if we push F to find the location of those ones I'll just make sure that every one of those is this location we want to select those and press Control G to group it again and this one is going to be shop port boom and then save and here it's saving exporting and then that is pretty much it that's all you have to do in the editor uh, and then you want to exit this Yes, I want to save changes
Alright, so then you want to come back to this when it decides to load. And this one, and this one, and then. Um, so this is your edited map. If you come into. This is just straight out of the zip file, but if you go to extract here. I don't know how long I've been recording for. 20 minutes. Okay, so we click on mod description. Why isn't it showing it? So, yeah, this is the, the, the mod description. Um, in here is where the author will be. This is all the details on what it'll either say when you're loading the map or the description of the map. And same for down here. And, yeah. So, this part is complicated. This to do with the animations generally animation in between the 110 n or l one o n uh, text name and I'll see just input gate uh, and then down here that gate would be this key here which is button 3 or mouse button left to open the gate and so forth so forth these just represent so that and anything in here you mess with uh, has to be properly done I'm still learning that part, but say if you want to, uh, because I've edited it now, so I want to put um, Blaze at the end of the, the game title, or the map title, and Blaze, and then pretty much just save, and then exit that, and then from here you just need to get this mod, you don't need extract or anything, but put it into your mods folder, and then you are pretty much good to go, um, ah, no, sorry, hold up, this file here needs to be zipped, so all you have to do to zip it up, is you just highlight all of that, you right click it, it's not really showing up on my screen, on the recorder properly, but it's okay, uh, you want to go to Add to archive. Let me just uh, put this into the archive thingy bob there and get rid of that for a second. Uh, you just then want to, this is the name of it, you want to put it as a zip and you want to put, I just put 17, put 20 in there just because I can. So now it's my edited version for the video I just made and click OK. And this is going to zip the, zip the map. It'll take a couple of minutes. Mr. Ill has started live streaming. It's good, he can check the video out afterwards. Um, I will post a download link for this edited map and also the mod that I just installed. And yep. So we're going back to put that. That's weird, why is it doing that? Okay, so this is the one that I've just zipped up. So that's all of these other folders except for that one. So you then want to cut that. Can't see anything on the screen. Cut it. 
So you want to move it to a new location, bring it back to where location you want to install it. I'm just going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it Lost Islands. If I spell it properly, Lost Islands Adventurer. Then I'm going to put it into that folder. And that is now there for safekeeping. And then if I go along and uh, restart the game up. No, actually, first, 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 first. I need to open this. This is where my current mod folder thing is. So I already have this one here, which is the edited one, which is the uh, another proper copy version with lots of uh, ports. But now that I've got the second one, which is from this one here, I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to paste it into this. And if all goes well, when this zips across, she's done. And then, now I can open the game. So we can close all this, and then start up the game. No, make sure that mod spot is selected first, which is ill gaming on the desktop this lovely little I have no idea why it's doing that oh ok um, yeah this is mod folder switcher it just keeps everything nice and simple for your mods um, so this one right it's not there why is it not there? Okay, that's not a problem. Just behind here. If there's... Or 20. And then go there. And then go... as usual click here to finish and then click on mods a bunch of times and want to open up the game you open up the game let's go test it out of course make sure that that mod is in that game of course just started it up my computer's gonna be non-responsive but we can probably get rid of that one and that one yes and we want to go ads and go to window capture okay this one and then this one and then Cursor, okay, cool, cool. Uh, I'm going to mute it because I don't want it to be copied. If I keep the mic going, this should be right. And what are we on? 29 minutes, bike crikeys. Go to Korea, add a new one, doesn't matter. There's two extra maps, one of them should be the one I just made, which is this one, and then this one. 
which is the one I've made for you Ill. and this one is just the one I've just made now so let's go ahead and start that up and see if it's loaded okay so we've got this one here um, we can get rid of that just in case it conflicts in any way we're going to get rid of that and we're going to get rid of that one and that one and leave the big button no uh, we don't need the big button um, don't need that we just need these two which is the ones we're doing so test the way let's go The ferry is in miscellaneous and I think it's like 66,000. Now I don't exactly got that money but I have $5,000 to lease it. So let's go ahead and lease it. And then we just want to go to the lovely tugboat. One thing I want to try to do is I'm going to try to edit this uh, barge, this ferry, so it goes a little bit faster than 24 kilometers. Don't want it to be a speed boat, but we want it to be like the Inter Islander doing 20 knots across the Cook Strait. I also put the credits to the uh, mod maker of this. Well, that's weird. This uh, Judy over here has got no texture. Go for it. Drive off and 
nice ramp that I made. Sweet. <laughs> and then we're at our base. Or well, main farm. And all of a sudden this pickup truck is going rocket speeds. And I kind of realized when I was testing this map yesterday that just thinking like why do we need bridges or a boat when you can just go in the water <laughs> and destroy Farmer Jack's crops. Some crop circles. Anyway, that's that's that. Um, the reason why the, the texture hasn't come up on this one is, is I think it's the uh, uh, this is the second port that I uh, added. Uh, the port, yeah, the port was already in the prefabs folder and it already had the texture, but that was for uh, that port over at the uh, shop. Well, something like that, anyway. So, uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure why the texture hasn't showed up. The texture showed on that one, so that's it, guys. Uh, like, subscribe if you want to, it doesn't really bother me, leave a comment if you like it or got any hints for me, uh, I'm on Discord, you can hit me up on Discord, uh, Blaze Kiwi Gaming, New Zealand, um, yeah, uh, have a good day, cheers.